We're in today with the RX 590 from 2018 from Sapphire. This video has got uh, 8 gig of uh, VRAM GDDR5 Samsung at 256 bits bus width, running at uh, 1560 megahertz on the core clock with uh, 2100 on the memory clock. We want to pair it up with this uh, legendary i7 6 gen. We want to see how this 4 core and 8 thread CPU is holding with this video card. This is kind of interesting to see because uh, 8 gig of uh, VRAM GPU. Used, it's kind of how should I say it's kind of hard to fill up that VRAM but at the same time I want to see how this i7 is uh, working it's not a very powerful CPU it's uh, getting very old and those four cores barely struggling to keep up today so I'm gonna jump in a couple of games and we're gonna see who is going to bottleneck what do you think RX 590 or the i7 sig gen let's start with Starfield and see how it's running Whew, I got 40 FPS actually chilling to see this uh, amount preset okay so let's start with this uh, preset you see how we're doing 60 fps on low details oh my god it looks so horrible i see some spikes here and there but uh, regardless okay so the quality you can actually see it on low details it's not that great you know but uh, it's averaging like 50 fps and it's uh, not that bad you can actually see the chip power it's taking some uh, wattage you know uh, overall the gpu is consuming because it's on uh, uh, how should i say it's on maximum load you know you can actually see the core is maxed out 3.4 gig of uh, vram being used and 13.5 from the system ram i'm not gonna say it's uh, it's good that the GPU is maxed out. It just shows you that who's, bo who's bottlenecking in this situation. Then apparently it's uh, barely, barely holding on 60 FPS. This is low details and uh, I don't really like the low details because uh, the texture is kind of funky, you know. Hopefully in the future they will optimize it so I can increase the uh, render scale. It looks kind of funny with low details, you know, that uh, render scale is not helping the, the game quality. I know that if I take the render scale and put it on 100%, it will look much better, but uh, I will lose the 60 FPS. And uh, I really like 60 FPS and the GPU and the CPU are maxed out completely. So you can actually see in some situation, the CPU, it's all of the cores are literally 100%. You can see that the CPU is reaching in some instances 40, 50 watts consumption. So in Starfield, uh, I will say, both of them they are bottlenecking but uh, the gpu it's uh, constantly on 100 percent i think the system in the future will be much better if they they do some uh, performance optimization in the game and uh, yeah i think it will be quite fantastic and it looks fantastic man let's see how far cry is working with this uh, system 1080p on quality everything it's on low let's max it out and see how we're doing all right 58 fps this is good 41 4.1 gig of vram the core is loaded yeah i think the power supply is keep uh, reaching the max peak because it's restarting my computer regardless regardless i have to look and uh, buy a proper power supply for this did you say something nada I'm not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's looking fantastic, it's running fantastic and it's holding pretty well on maximum details, you know, so 58 FPS on uh, as a preset in Far Cry, it's showing me that the CPU and the GPU are meant for games like this. Overall, the system is, is fantastic, even though you can actually see in some situation the CPU is bottlenecking, but uh, with maximum details, uh, the GPU is bottlenecking here because uh, of the core. The VRAM is not fully loaded and uh, there is no problem when it comes to the CPU side. Even though the GPU is maxed out, I think uh, it's doing uh, great in this situation because I will never use this uh, amount of details. Okay, let's jump into Cyberpunk and see how we are treated. I think this is maximum details and if that is i'm gonna keep it there and i'm gonna see how it's running custom no nope. i think it's ultra or something i'm gonna keep it with the preset so you can understand what's going on here apparently it's ultra ultra with 45 fps uh, on average let's average the fps and see how it's running man this is uh, this is kind of cool to see. I'm not going to lie, the CPU is getting on 60% load with uh, 10 point, uh, it's 
actually sta- passing by uh, it's passing 10 gig of system and utilized in this situation can actually see the cores are like 60 70 percent reaching 70 percent load but the game looks fantastic on maximum uh, details uh, it's on uh, it's got uh, upscaling but uh, it's doing the job you know 40 fps 35 on minimal 37 on uh, on one percent so overall with this gpu and the cpu you can actually create a preset with low details or maybe medium medium details some fsr uh, in uh, some situation and you can deliver the performance you can deliver uh, the performance from the system in, in the game you know you can enjoy uh, cyberpunk in this situation with this computer it's kind of fantastic, you know, the whole thing, the whole concept of this uh, game. I like how everything was uh, updated in the game. So now with uh, older hardware like this, old CPUs like this, old GPUs, you can benefit clearly on uh, playing the game, you know, kind of fantastic. I really like how it's uh, working. Hogsworth's legacy with this system. Let's see how he's running because uh, I'm betting it's going to do very well. Let's see the settings. 1080p. A low anti-aliasing, 100% render scale. I'm on ultra with uh, maximum details. So I'm outside. Outside usually goes uh, lower on the FPS because of the load. The CPU itself, you can actually see that it's uh, not being stressed, like 40%, maximum 40-50% load on the on the CPU with 16 gig of uh, system RAM utilized, and the GPU maxed out to the floor i had to ramp up the fan in order to keep the gpu in the line you know so 6.8 gig of vram this is one of those games that actually it's utilizing the the vram from the video card so with this rx 590 you can actually use this video card on maximum uh, details in this situation hogsworth legacy is benefiting from this video card with this vram like 6.8 gig of VRAM, it's actually good to see that the video card is delivering. The power is on maximum, 49, 50 FPS on average. It's a good number considering the 25, 24 minimals. I mean, it's you can adjust it with some upscale, lowering maybe to medium details. There are ways you can tweak the game with the system. So the i7 6th gen and this RX 590 can actually do the job properly outside and inside. Apparently in both situations, you can see that uh, it's handling pretty well. 40, 50 FPS. Yeah, I think it will be ideal with some upscale in order to to have better FPS uh, outside. Watch Dogs Legion. I had a great experience last time with the RTX and I seen how uh, well it's utilizing the VRAM and I say, you know what, let's see how it's utilizing it with the RX uh, video card. So on the CPU side, apparently we're reaching like 50 and 60% load on the, on the CPU with barely 40 watts consumption, uh, under 12 gig of system RAM, 11.5. That is actually good, but uh, it's lagging. It's lagging because the in GPU it's on maximum. So this is maximum details in the game on 1080p, and uh, it's uh, bottlenecking the GPU. Seriously, can't uh, I can't distress the GPU in order to get uh, more FPS? But the whole thing was to see which one is bottlenecking the CPU or the GPU on maximum details. If you lower the details, you will end up uh, balancing the CPU and the GPU. But in this situation on maximum details, you can actually see the GPU can uh, bottleneck. 7 gig of uh, VRAM, that is very important to see because this is the only game with Hogsworth Legacy that managed to put uh, uh, the VRAM on good use. You know, look at this, 7. 6.8 overall the fps is not that great 37 on average with 29 on minimals and 31 on uh on one uh, percent those are not good numbers definitely will be much better to lower the details and if you want to play the game it will be advisable because the, the game is quite quite good you know and if you want to play in london then this is the right game Okay, let's test uh, GTA 5 and see how it's running. I think uh, I, I learned my lesson last time and I will let uh, GTA 5 decide which one is the best. So I'm going to take a look and see what settings I have here. I have uh, FXA, MSA, 4X. I can actually put it on higher, but uh, I, think G- I think GTA 5 knows what 
what Siri wants, seriously. Popularity density, everything is on maximum, very high. X, uh, uh, X4 on uh, MSAA, that is good. Ultra on grass quality, very high particles, water quality, high. And a post fix Ultra with uh, everything on high when it comes to filtering. Advanced graphics, nothing. Let's jump in and see how it's working. Okay, this is funky to see GTA 5 like this. Uh, 50 FPS, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of good. Nearly 10 gig of system RAM it's being used in uh, in GTA 5. It feels and it, it runs and it feels very good. Overall, 50 FPS, it's okay, but uh, I will not put, put it like this because I want uh, high uh, minimals and 1%. So in this situation, I just wanted to see which one is which one, you know? Who's bottlenecking in GTA 5? So the GPU on maximum details, the core is uh, being bottleneck. Yeah. Overall, he's doing a fantastic job with uh, maximum details with uh, this computer, with this system. Yeah, I, I want to play like this, you know. I can put the render scale. Actually, let's put the render scale because last time it was something similar. So I go into the settings. I know 0.5 is not okay. I know 0.6 is not okay because it looks horrible. I'll put 0.8 doesn't do too much uh, you know but i'm guessing uh, it will be better minimals than one percent i can actually see the core on the gpu that is not uh, stress 100 percent you know now it's very intermittent that means it will uh, lower the vram usage and uh, it will keep the gpu cooler please don't give me a t-shirt it will be the third time you give me a t-shirt you know All right, so the question was who is going to bottleneck this uh, RX 590 or the i7 6th gen? Well, apparently on maximum details, the RX 590 is going to bottleneck. But if you lower the details, if you don't want to push this video card to the wall, you know, I think you can create a balancing between them, you know, so the system is quite uh, okay with this video card and this i7 uh, 6th gen. Now, I'm not gonna judge, you know, if you can find this CPU because they are really cheap. This i7 6th gen is kind of cheap. The RX 500 series, they are getting very cheap with 8 gig of VRAM. Then you can set up, make a nice setup uh, like this and uh, you can balance them in between medium details or something like that. If you lock it to 60 FPS, I'm 100% sure the system will be perfect. Even though it bottlenecked, the 590 is still a fantastic video card and is still a good option if you want to build a system on a budget. So do I think this uh, uh, 590 is worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Do you think it's worth having an i7 6th gen? Yeah, it's still worth it because uh, you're getting cheaper and uh, still manage to deliver the performance.